Hello, hello, and welcome to the first Friday of the month career strategy session. How to find career purpose. What is it and how to find it? I welcome everyone who's here with me in the Zoom room and to listeners who are joining me on the LinkedIn Live. It's an interesting thing to be able to be in two places at once and I'm grateful for technology for supporting that. <laughs> so if you're joining on LinkedIn Live, hang around. I know that many of you will be hopping in and out in this 45-minute um, session. That's absolutely fine. I welcome you. So thank you to the LinkedIn Live audience. And to those who have a special limited Zoom room seat, I see you and welcome you all here too. My name is Licia Dewing. And I'm a career strategist, and I have the great pleasure of working remotely around the world, but I'm based in Cape Town, South Africa. I completely believe that you can revolutionize your career and you can have a career that you want. It's about figuring out what it is that you want, creating the right mindset, and then knowing the action steps that you need to take weekly to be able to build or design that career. Why do I believe that? Well, it was my story. I was the very opposite once. I was stuck, stagnant, frustrated, and I certainly wasn't in a career that provided me with purpose, nor did I know how to understand where to define my purpose. What I did know was that I needed to career strategize myself back to meaning and impact. And now I had the great pleasure of teaching people exactly what I did. So you're attending a free career strategy session that I host on the first Friday of the month. Today's topic is all about career purpose. And as I said, I have a LinkedIn Live audio room open where people will be hopping in and hopping out and joining. And I've also got you good people here in the Zoom room. So before we start, I'd love to know um, in the comments of Zoom, you can type in if you're new to me. If you're new to my network, please, in my community and world, just type in new. And if you've been part of my tribe for a while, I'd love you to just type in tribe. And in the LinkedIn live room, let's have a thumbs up for new and a heart for tribe. You can post emojis there. So I'm very excited that you're here because it clearly tells me that you're prepared to get strategic and you want to be strategic. Being strategic is always about understanding that there is a certain way of doing things, but you can apply that to yourself. And really what I want to encourage you to do is extrapolate what you hear from me today and apply what best fits to you. You are the guru of your career. You have all the answers within you. Just because you don't know what those answers are doesn't mean that you don't know them. It might just be because you haven't been asked the right questions. Second thing about being strategic is please switch off all distractions. Be present. Gift me with your time. Time is the one most valuable resource that none of us can get back. And third thing about being strategic is I'd love you to please take some notes. Get pen and paper and take down some notes. Follow what triggers you, what makes you feel uncomfortable. Write that down and follow what you want to take away and what you're going to implement. So... Yes, thank you, Zoom Room people. We've got some news, news, and a lot of tribes. Thank you for that. And our LinkedIn audio room is slowly heating up, <laughs> but I love that I can be in two places at once. So we're here to talk about career purpose. What is it and, and how to create it? Now, the word purpose can often be bandied about, right? We we can hear it a lot and not know how to apply it or not know what it is. But I've discovered and I've learned that in my work and in the decade of doing this career strategy work, the biggest lessons come or the biggest moments of expansion come where the rubber hits the road, right? It's when things aren't working that we dig deeper. It's when we're not cruising along and everything's glowing in our career that we need to pause to take some stock, um, re-step re sideways before we move forward again. So if you're here because that's your experience, I see you. 
and I honor you. And I know that the journey can be painful and it's filled with frustration along the way. And I know that because that was my journey. My journey was trying to figure out what was my career purpose and how could I understand it. So in today's career strategy session, we're going to talk about what is career purpose, how to define it, how to identify it. I'm going to share some questions with you to help you get thinking around what career purpose is so that you can define it for yourself. And let's kick off. Let's kick off with what it is. So my definition of career purpose is it's that light within you. Now, think of the concept of light. Light is something that is illuminating, that makes things better, shines a light, opens us up. And career purpose then is that light that shines within us that we desperately want to bring into the world. A classic description of career purpose would be the driving force behind your professional life. Basically, career purpose is the reason that's going to make you want to get out of bed in the morning and do the work that you need to do. Now, that might sound like a platitude because we all have to get out of bed in the morning to be able to earn the money, to be able to live the life that we strive to have. But some of us will trade up what we need to do to earn the money versus what we want to do, what we choose to do to earn the money. So... One thing I know for sure about purpose is that purpose doesn't find you, you find it. And that's why it's hard to define. It's hard to identify. You know, we're not socialized into leaving school and finding our purpose. We're socialized into working hard and getting a qualification and working hard at our job and hard at our careers. So this word purpose certainly is not something that we're told to chase or to follow or to identify or to define. And the other thing that makes it hard is that it's different to everyone. There is no one size fits all. There is no unique definition. I mean, there is no one de definition. It's unique to everyone. So what's purposeful for me could be vastly different to what's purposeful to you. So knowing that helps us understand why it's hard, helps us understand why many of us might chase it for years and years in our careers. And the other thing about it is that it changes over time. So purpose isn't static. We don't have one purpose. It evolves and we might have a number of purposes at various stages of our life. It's completely unique to us and we're not taught how to find it. We're not socialized to get it. We're told to go and work hard at our jobs. So those reasons help stack up to why it's hard to identify. And unless we've hit some friction in our career and chosen to do career strategy work and identify our purpose, you will find that many of us and many of our colleagues and many of the people around us in the professional world will find it much later on in life because they've developed their career, they've worked hard at their job, and then they start to consider, what is this thing called purpose? Well, I don't necessarily believe that's right. I think we can define our purpose early on, we can work towards it, we can know it, and it can grow and develop around us as we go. So welcome to the room. If you've just hopped in in the LinkedIn Live, this is the career first Friday of the month career strategy sessions that I love to host. I've got a LinkedIn Live audio room happening and I've got some people on the Zoom room. And today we're talking about career purpose. What is it and why is it so hard to define? And I started off by giving you three key reasons of why it's hard to find. So let's just summarize that in a bit more detail. Societal expectations and pressures. We are not socialized to know what our purpose is. The expectation is that we're going to go out into the world of work and we're going to work hard. That's number one. Second is often the fear of the uncertainty and fear of failure, pursuing a career with purpose that's not aligned to a conventional path or securing a job can be daunting. 
Purpose is this euphemistic thing that's unique to everyone. It's different to all of us. So it's hard to pin down and define. Nobody can tell us off the bat, this is what career purpose is. It's for us to figure out. So there's, there's a sense of uncertainty and fear of failure in that figuring out process. So much easier just to follow the norm, get a job, work hard and climb the ladder, right? Also a sense of lack of awareness, lack of awareness. Um, we're not really socialized into figuring out our career strategy from the get-go. We tend to pause to figure it out when things aren't working or going well. But when our career is going well, we don't really need to do that self-reflection. Then the other element about purpose and the definition of it is that the complexity of modern careers and the way of work is changing and has changed so drastically since the global pandemic and since COVID. We've, um, one, all faced our mortality <laughs> with, with the rise of COVID, but also the way in which we work. We now can work remotely. There is new changes of careers and, and identification of doing the work that we do. And with the rise of AI and the advent of the future of work looking so different, that can also create complexity into defining this thing called purpose. But the biggest thing, and, and one of the, the hardest reasons why we don't know it, is often we can find ourselves in a misalignment with our current role. So we can be in a job working and finding and figuring out that our values and our purpose and our passion is completely misaligned with the work that we're doing. And that creates confusion because maybe it's the job that's the next rung up on the success the ladder of success that we're told we have to climb. Or maybe it's the job that our qualification has given us. Maybe it's that external validation of success, yet we're in it and we feel so deeply dissatisfied. And therein lies this misalignment with our current role. So those are some of the reasons why we find it hard to define career purpose. I covered what it is at the beginning by just saying it's, it's the light that shines within you and it's for us to discover. Purpose won't find us, we must find it. So there's a sense of action that we need to take. Now I'm gonna run in, run through some questions. I've got eight questions here that I want you to think about in terms of helping unlock what is the purpose. And again, I'll say to you, just because you don't know the answers to these questions, doesn't mean you don't have the answers. It's just that you might not have have you might not have been asked the questions in such a way. So I hundred percent believe that you all are the best gurus of your career. There is no silver bullet. There is no perfect equation. There is no person who can give you your purpose. It's for you to identify and discover, and that takes a bit of self reflection. But you're all here for that reflection. You're courageously here today in the Zoom room and in the LinkedIn Live for that reflection. So I celebrate that. Here are eight questions that I'll share with you. So jot these down. Questions to help you navigate and discover your purpose. So number one, what, what is it that you do that makes you feel most engaged or satisfied in your work? What task or activity or function do you do that really makes you feel engaged and enlivened in your work and satisfied? Just drop that down. Don't look for perfection. Just write that down. What is it that you do that makes you feel most engaged, connected, switched on? Number two, what are some of the common themes that you get in feedback from others about your strengths? So those traditional HR KPI exercises, annual reviews, or simply just team members, colleagues, clients, and people around you, what are some of the common themes that people always tell you you're good at? What are some of those themes that come through? Question number three. Currently, how do your personal values influence your career choices? Now, what I mean by personal value is what is the thing that's most important to you right now and in this year that you're moving towards? How does that influence your career choice? I did a career strategy session on values. 
that um, helped a number of people. But what I mean about this is, what is it that you need to work towards that is a priority for you? And how is that influencing your career choices? Unique to you, you know what the answers are. Question number four, what kind of work environment makes you feel the most productive and the happiest? So look around you and what is the type of work environment that makes you feel happy and productive? Is it a very corporate environment? Is it a work from home environment? Is it an entrepreneurial space? Is it where new ideas are celebrated? Is it a follow the rules and plug and play system? What type of environment makes you feel most productive and happy? We're on question four now, moving to question five. And see everyone in the Zoom room furiously jotting down things. And I can see you in the LinkedIn audio room, but I can't see what you're doing. So I hope that you're jotting them down. Question five, what causes or societal issues do you feel most passionate about contrib contributing to? Sorry, I didn't read that properly. What issues in the world do you feel most drawn to trying to solve or contribute to? This is big. I mean, the world currently is facing a lot of issues, but what draws you in? Is it poverty alleviation? Is it refunctioning basic education? Is it sustainable living? What is it? What are some of the things that we're facing as South Africans, Africans, and human beings that you want to contribute towards? That's question number five. Just drop that down. Moving on to question number six. When was there a time in your career when you felt most fulfilled? What were you doing? Do a reflection. When was the time in your career when you felt most fulfilled and what were you doing? Drop that down. Number seven. How would you uniquely define success in your professional life? What is success to you? Bigger paycheck, more freedom, more flexibility, more time off. What is success? Senior leadership, more title, more prestige. What does success mean to you? Drop down your answers, question seven. And rounding off for the last question number eight. This is a tough one, but it's a good one to reflect on. What legacy do you want to leave through your work? What legacy do you want to leave through your work? Not an easy one to identify, but one that's worth you thinking through and putting some thought ideas, ideation to. So there are eight questions that help lead you to the road of identifying what this purpose is. These questions, it's not about are they easy, are they hard? That is not what you want to be asking yourself. Can you answer them? Yes. Is there clarity on the other side of answering them? Yes. Can you piece together the answers of all of these eight questions into some clarity to be able to help you define what purpose is for you so that you can move towards it? 100%. Now, I also want to share some um, thinking from the work that I do as a career strategist. My work is always about mindset and action steps. So now that you know this, how are you going to match that to an action step? And I've developed what I call a purpose statement formula to help match emotion to clarity for you to be able to develop what this thing called purpose is. And that's really what these eight questions are taking you through. They're taking you through clarity. How can I get the clarity of what I, you know, what kind of work environment makes me feel productive? When do I feel most fulfilled? This is clarity forming for you. And then on the other side of these eight questions, the other part of the formula is matching an emotion to it. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to reread these questions with the opportunity of you matching an emotion. So question one was what activity or task makes you feel most engaged and satisfied? 
What was it that you do that makes you feel most engaged? And I want you to put an emotion. How do you feel when you do it? So question one was, what do you do in your work that you get most, you feel most satisfied from? And then put an emotion to it. How do you feel? Elated, expansive, fulfilled, but just whatever comes to mind, put an emotion to that. Question two was what were some of the themes and the feedback that you get from others around your strengths? Identify clarity, what were some of the themes? Now I want you to put an emotion to it. How does knowing this make you feel? How does knowing the feedback that you get from others, how does that make you feel? You're matching an emotion to your clarity. Question number three was, how do your personal values influence your career choices? So what's important to you right now? And how does that influence a career choice? How does that make you feel? Put an emotion to it. So what I'm taking you through is what I call the career purpose formula, which is matching an emotion to your clarity. Question number four. What kind of work environment makes you feel the most productive and happy? What work environment makes you feel the most productive and happy? Happy is how you feel, but I want you to go deeper and find an emotion. When you are in that work environment, how do you fundamentally feel? Put an emotion to that. So we're supercharging your clarity with an emotion. Question number five, what issues in the world are you passionate about contributing towards? As I said, we're 2024, there's a lot of issues that we face as South Africans, Africans, and human beings. What of these issues draws you in to try to contribute or solve? And how does that make you feel? If you could work towards alleviating poverty, climate change, whatever the issue is, how would that make you feel? Put an emotion just jot down a word, an emotion that connects to that. Question six, when did you feel the most fulfilled in your career and what were you doing? So the emotion was feeling fulfilled. What were you doing? I want you to go deeper and give me another sense of an emotion. So when you were feeling so fulfilled doing this thing at work, knowing this makes you feel what? Do you follow me with this? I can see my Zoom room people doing some furious writing and some thinking, but just stick with it. Just go with it. Drop down what was the emotion that you can put to feeling, doing the thing that made you feel most fulfilled at work. Question seven, we're back doubling up on ourselves now. How would you define success in your professional life? What is that definition of success? Income, earning, freedom, flexibility, responsibility, um, seniority. What is the emotion attached to that? How do you feel when you have income stability? How do you feel when you have seniority, when you have authority? What does success mean? How does it make you feel? We're digging into the next level of you adding an emotion to your clarity. And then the last and the final question, the eighth, what legacy do you want to leave in your work? I know this is a hard one. I know it's a big one, but challenge yourself to think of what comes up. What legacy do you want to leave through your work and how will that make you feel? Level up with giving yourself an emotion. So that's the career purpose formula. You gain clarity and then you double down on adding emotion to the clarity and then you end up with these sentences which are clarity forming and emotion giving so you have a sense of clarity tied to your emotion and i honestly believe i know that the work of finding career purpose we know it's unique we know it's changes over time we know why it's hard to find we know all of that we discussed that at the beginning of the session but the work of finding it is something that you can do by starting small, doing some reflection, and matching your clarity with how it makes you feel. You, in a way, purpose is something that you're going to discover by going out into the world and trying it and testing it and probing it. It's not something that you can pay a lot of money to somebody to uncover for you. 
It's not that. I believe that anything in our careers is easily managed and broken down into an action step and a mindset, matching the action step with a mindset to be able to move forward and get more clarity. So I seriously hope, my wish today is for everybody who's here on the LinkedIn audio room and to you in the Zoom room that knowing why it's so hard to identify career purpose, knowing why we're not socialized into it, what is it, and then having this tangibility of being able to just go through these questions to be able to connect with emotion and clarity will help you moving, it'll set you up to move forward to be able to unpack and understand this thing called career purpose. Now, if you're in the LinkedIn Live event here in the Zoom room, you are here because you've subscribed to the career strategy sessions, and that's why you were offered a, a seat. So when the LinkedIn Live event ends, you will have the opportunity of asking me some questions or going a little bit further. For our friends in the LinkedIn Live room, I value you and, and love that you're here. You'll see in the event there is a link to subscribe to the sessions, which will give you the opportunity of joining in a Zoom room for next Friday sessions and asking some more questions and having the ability of, um, you know, being in the, room, the Zoom room with me. But also you will get a recording. So for everyone in the, the audio room, please click into the event, go into the actual event. You'll see there's a link for you to subscribe. And I'd love for you to join my world so I can give you some more information by subscribing. You also have the option putting your hand up of what you'd like me to cover in the next career strategy session. But this is what I'd like to suggest to all of you. Firstly, starting to understand and unpack the concept of purpose. At the beginning, it's going to feel extremely hard. In the middle, it's going to get very messy. In the end, you're going to get some clarity. There are infinite possibilities of the steps that you can take to be able to move yourself through self-navigation of purpose. I call myself a career strategist because for me, it's about equipping you with the tools that you need to be able to manage your career. I am not the guru of anyone's career and I don't consider myself a career guru. You are your own gurus. What I like to do is develop mindset and action steps to unlock your guru-ness, provide you with formulas, tools, exercises, and questions to unpack the guru that you have within you in order to be able to then move forward closer to that standing in the sunshine of your career and the purpose that you deserve. So my quest to you is, can you do this in the next four weeks between now and the next career strategy session, which will be the first Friday in August? Can you go through these eight questions, provide yourself with some clarity, and then level up by matching that clarity with some emotion? Yes, you can. Quick hands up in the LinkedIn live room. Do you want me to run through the questions one more time? Just give me a thumbs up, thumbs up in the audio room if you'd like me to do that um the zoom room people would like me to run through that great so yes nadia i see you so i will just run through the eight initial questions where you're going to define clarity for yourself and then you're going to repeat those questions by matching it with an emotion so first question what activities or tasks do you feel most engaged at work? What do you do at work that makes you feel most engaged? Just jot down first thing that comes to mind. Then you're going to double back on this question and say, when you do this work and you feel engaged, how does it make you feel? What is the emotion? Engaged is, yes, a feeling, but a unique emotion. How does that make you feel? Question two. What are the common themes that you get in feedback from others about your strengths? Teams, leaders, people that you work with, what are some of the common themes that you get about your strengths? Drop those down, then add an emotion to it. How does it make you feel knowing this is the strengths that the world sees in you? 
Question three. How do your personal values currently, right now, influence your career choices? So a value is something that's important that you're going to prioritize. How is that influencing your career choice? Do you have a value of being able to balance time, work, and family? How is it influencing your career choice? Do you have a value of earning an incredible amount to be able to save towards children's tertiary education? How is that influencing your career choice? And then how does that make you feel? Does it make you feel frustrated? Does it make you feel empowered? What is the emotion added to that question? Question number four, what kind of work environment makes you feel the most productive? What work environment do you thrive in? Detail, detail, get granular. What is the work environment that you enjoy most? Clear leadership, in-person meetings, having distributed teams around the world, freedom, flexibility, just all the words that come to you. What is the most, what is the work environment that makes you feel the most productive or that you are the most productive in? And double down with an emotion, how does that make you feel? Question five, what big societal issues are you passionate about contributing towards? What problems do the world, what problems exist in the world that you would like to solve? And how does that make you feel? Question six, when have you felt most fulfilled in your career? What were you doing at the time? When were you thriving and completely engaged and feeling completely fulfilled? You're gonna write down what you were doing. Now knowing this, add it to an emotion, how does that make you feel? Fulfillment is a feeling, sure. What were you doing that made you feel fulfilled? Knowing this makes you feel what? What is that bigger meta emotion that drives that decision? Question seven, how do you define success in your professional life? What does success mean? Seniority, leadership, flexibility. What does success mean? And add that to an emotion, how does that make you feel? And question eight, what legacy do you want to leave through your work? What legacy do you choose that you want to leave through your work? And knowing this, how does that make you feel? That's the work. That's identifying career purpose. Knowing the answers to these questions, doubling down with an emotion, that's it. And the reason why we connect an emotion to it is because when you feel it, when you embody it, when you have a sense within your being of how important it is to you and you can articulate that into a word and emotion, you'll never forget that. So it's very well for us to have these answers in our head, drop them down on a piece of paper. That's great. You can move through the world knowing this. But if you keep having to refer to what you wrote down on a piece of paper, it's fleeting. And we know that the whirlwind of work and life comes at us full, full force embodying it with an emotion makes it real. We'll never forget that. We'll never lose that feeling. So that, my friends, here in the Zoom room and in the LinkedIn Live event, LinkedIn audio event, I love that I can be in two places at once. It's super fun for me. And I love that we have people all over the world who've joined us. Some of us here are you know, lunchtime, some of us are afternoon, and some of us are even evening. So it would be for me to close off and say, thank you. I honor and see you if you're feeling stuck or frustrated or stagnant, or if there's misalignment with your purpose or your finding purpose. It's the question that comes up the most in my career strategy work. Um, I do offer a 25 minute complimentary session you'll see that on my linkedin profile feel free to book that it's an opportunity for us to meet one-on-one -on -one. you can hear more about the work that i do and also for me to understand more about what you're looking for and what you need so if that resonates by all means do that but my quest to you is can you do this thinking and clarity seeking and emotion matching work between now and the first friday of next month which will be august Yes, you can. Is it easy? Is it hard? Those aren't the questions. Can you do it? Yes. Is there benefit of you being equipped with knowing how to move through understanding career purpose and establishing it for yourself? 100%.
What keeps you safe keeps you stuck. When you branch out into doing something unusual or new, that's where huge transformation comes. And for those of you who are feeling the frustration and the friction of a deeply unsatisfying work environment or job or career at the moment, know that what's on the other side of that is your biggest transformation, your biggest expansion. When we are most frustrated, the richness of really great purposeful work is always waiting for us on the other side. What we need to do to move through it is gaining the clarity. And I'm passionate about helping share action steps and mindset tips to be able to shift you forward in that clarity. So I'd love to hear more from you. Leave some comments or thoughts in the um, events section of the uh, LinkedIn Live in the Zoom room. Hang around because we're going to be able to answer some of your specific questions. And if you'd like to be in a more intimate room with me next month from the LinkedIn Live people, please go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you. Thank you for your time. And thank you for being strategic. I will see you all on the other side of what can be frustration. So celebrations all round and thank you very much. I'll be ending the room now and we'll be in touch. Bye-bye.